There's something about the great outdoors that unleashes a more primal self. Gets you more in tune with nature and the creatures living in it, the mountains and the rivers that flow beneath it. There is only one thing that can beat this, and that's Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. Cabela's is an outdoor retail store owned by Bass Pro Shops. The interior smells like freshly chopped oak, and you mostly go just to look at all the nice things you can't afford and leave. Cabela's had many video game titles prior to Dangerous Hunts, including their 4x4 off-road series, as well as their Deer Hunt series. They managed to captivate the hearts of gamers who were bored of the current games they owned and wanted to try something else. Starting in 2003 by Activision, the Dangerous Hunt series began as a dream. To virtually hunt small to big game from the comfort of your own home. Which, like I said, has been done before, only this time. It's dangerous. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. Created for children who weren't old enough to play any of these rated M titles. Or for the middle-aged guy who frequents your local sports bar. Let's take a quick dive on the Cabela's Dangerous Hunt series. All through the captivating, colorful pages Shit, uh, of Zoo Books. The publication is specially created for young readers. Each monthly issue of Zoo Books is packed with breathtaking, full-color photos and scientifically accurate illustrations. Okay. Listen, to be frank, uh, these games were just revolutionary, okay? I mean, the attention to detail for a hunting game hasn't been this good since Duck Hunt. The music makes your heart race as you choose your character, the difficulty, your weapon of choice, and where and what you're hunting. I, uh, gotta watch the blood pressure. So you get dropped in, that's it. You have to hike, scale mountains, and try to find the, uh, oh god, oh, shoot it! Shoot it! And you get rewards. Congratulations. Dangerous Hunts 2 from 2005 takes a wilder turn from its predecessor, with a more story survival-based approach. And I, uh, just love what these guys are doing. It's, uh... In this game, you play as a guy with a glass eye and a prosthetic leg whose best friend dies in Alaska. Nobody knows what happened, and you have to go in and solve the mystery by killing every single animal that stands in your way, like a true American. This, uh, is Dangerous Hunts 2009. That's how you have to deal with them when they get vicious. They did the same thing most sports game series did by titling the game the year after their initial release. Side note, they did this because the season for that sport ends in the later year. But for Cabela's, I'm not exactly sure why they did that. It has no roster of hunters. It's strictly, you know, Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year! Dad, look, a new game. That's right, son. It's 2009 now. This one got an amazing score from IGN and Games Radar. IGN wrote, it has very little lasting appeal and is definitely a better rental than a purchase. Just wonderful. Same deal, you enter an area for the animal you're hunting, and you have a hunter's sense now, like a goddamn superhero. And you're time for it. So essentially, it's better to just run up to the animal and kill it quickly, like a sociopath, than to patiently wait, uh, like in the first game. At this point, games were, uh, getting better and better, and Activision had to figure out a way to make these games relevant. Guys, we have Grand Theft Auto 4. You play a Russian immigrant? No. Fallout 3, a post a post-apocalyptic no. Mario Kart Wii now can use a wheel to drive. Wait, stop. You can use what? A wheel. Swap that into a plastic rifle when we have our next game. Stay frosty. It's time for Dangerous Hunts 2011, and yes, believe it or not, we are back to the duck hunt days. Arcade-style approach with a motion sensor and everything, giving you a survival arcade mode similar to House of the Dead or Resident Evil. 2011 had a much better reception and it was all around a decent game. I also want to take the time to say that while I do support the regulated practice of hunting, I do not support trophy hunting, killing contests, and or fenced-in hunts of any kind. Now that I've got that out of the way, look at how crazy these levels are. Oh, yeah, oh, God, oh, chest, oh, 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 got him. Oh. Dangerous Hunts 2013 had similar gameplay and up their action sequences by a hair, but failed to really grasp its audience. This marked the end of the Cabela's Dangerous Hunt series, and while more Cabela's games were being released, the hunting genre kind of just fell to the wayside. But not if YouTubers had anything to say about it. Hunting sims live on as Let's Plays and walkthroughs began taking the internet platform by storm. YouTube channels like Overhand Shuffle, Game Society Pimps, 10 Minute Gameplay, Thrumful, Loopy Long Plays, Gameplay Station, and many more. And yes, while these games didn't get the best reviews or weren't as good as other games, gamers can't admit that they had some fun with these titles. I mean, come on, you you went into an EB Games or a GameStop and you picked one of these bad boys up. Let's, let's, be, let's, let's be honest. And that nostalgia for these games is what really brings us all together. 
fans of the series rallied online to bring these games back, but then, uh... Oh my god. Yeah, let me just... Don't at me. 